The centre of mass of an object is the point where the entire weight of the object appears to act. Working out the centre of mass of a symmetrical object is easy. It's simply where the lines of symmetry cross. However, it's very unlikely that you'll be dealing with such perfect shapes, so you work it out by suspending the object freely along with a plumb line. The centre of mass is always below the point of suspension, so by marking the vertical along the plumb line, you know that the centre of mass is somewhere along that line. By suspending the object from another point and repeating the process, you get two lines that intersect, and the point of intersection is the centre of mass. The position of the centre of mass is very important when it comes to the stability of an object. For example, a double-decker bus is built to have a very low centre of mass and a wide base, so that the line of action of its weight stays within the base when it goes around a sharp corner. If something has a high centre of mass combined with a small base, then it's very unstable and will topple over with minimal effort. A plumb line is an example of a simple pendulum. All it consists of is a weight attached to a piece of string that can swing freely. The time taken for it to swing from one side to the other and back again is called a time period. The time period of a pendulum of the same length is always the same no matter what height you release it from, which is what makes them so good at keeping time. The time period and the frequency are related by the formula t equals 1 over f. So if a pirate ship at a theme park swung with a frequency of 0.2 Hz, then the time period would be 5 seconds, which is one scary ride. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video, and if you want to see some more, you can subscribe.